Today I'll be breaking down a very highly profitable ICT time-based strategy. Now if you can't sit through two, three hour long fluff videos of ICT, I'll be breaking it down in exactly 10 minutes. I trade this up almost every single trade that I take. It personally got me funded 200k in uh, FTMO funding and I'll be showing you exactly how to trade this step by step with a checklist so you guys can actually re replicate this straight after watching this video. I'll be breaking down a step by step checklist on what you actually need in order to follow this setup. Now. First things first, right? You're going to need to understand ICT kills on timing. Make sure your trading view is on uh, New York timing. Just because when ICT does talk through his set of videos, he's always referring to New York timing. So wherever you are in the world, just toggle your trading view timing to UTC minus four New York. Just so you can really um, follow this video step by step and understand the timing that I'm actually talking about. Firstly, um, the two sessions that you can trade this set up in, it will be the London open kill zone. Uh, which is going to be between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. Again, this is going to be on um, New York timing and New York open kill zone, which will be between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. Now, the two time frames that we're going to be using today is going to be the 15 minute and the one minute. 15 minute to actually draw liquidity and one minute um, to actually find our entries. Now, this is sort of the structure that we're going to be have. Liquidity sweep uh, with a market structure shift or displacement. Uh, tied with an order block will give us the perfect precise entry. Now the page you can actually use this for is GBP USD, Euro USD, um, gold. Gold is one of my favorite pairs that actually trade very, very, very clean. And obviously you can trade indices with this as well. So remember, have your trading view on New York timing and uh, let's jump straight into the actual charts uh, part of the video. So first thing I want to recommend is this indicator that I'm using. Again, like I said, London open kill zones 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. As you can see, my green box here is from 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. Uh, oh, sorry, 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. London open kill zone. So I don't actually have to mark it out, um, but you can actually use this indicator. It's called, um, it's actually called Casey Boxes ICT Mentorship. So you can use that and then you can change the sort of colors if you like. This is the sort of settings that I'm running on. Uh, these are the colors I'm running on right now. This is the inputs, um, but that's that. And then you, you obviously have the New York open kill zone from um, 7 a.m. all the way to 10 a.m. like so. So you can add that indicator if you wish. If you don't want to have that indicator on your chart, you don't have to. You can just do it all manually. Now, what I'm going to be showing you, right? So first things first, you're going to delineate the open kill zones. Now, that's why I use the indicator. However, if you don't want to, you can just... Um, delineate it with uh, the vertical line of course so again from 2 a.m to 5 a.m is going to be the london open kill zone so we're trading london open kill zone now you can choose one between to do uh, if you don't have a trade within london open kill zone you can then go ahead and have a look at new york time and see if you get anything through there so first things first um what you're actually going to want is your, obviously your time is marked out, delineate them. Um, once that's done, so this is how you're actually gonna trade this, this sort of strategy, okay? So uh, imagine this is price. You're letting price do whatever you whatever it wants prior to the session that you are looking to trade. So whatever it does, blah, 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 okay? So when it actually comes to the start time of your uh, kill zones to actually start trading, what are you going to mark out? First thing you're gonna mark out is your liquidity areas. So this is basically gonna be the high and the lows of the actual session. If you struggle from identify liquidity, that's basically what it's gonna be. So I'm gonna mark out this high here as liquidity. We can form that as um, marked out as liquidity. And then we're gonna have another section of liquidity just here, which is gonna be the low. Uh, I'm gonna change that to liquidity as well. So now we have our buy side. So the the upside is going to be the buy side liquidity downside is going to be the sell side liquidity now what we want to wait for within our session timing is even one of these to get taken out now what is above liquidity buy stops and sell stops this is where the retail traders think when this high gets broken they get a break and retest trade and uh, think that they're going to essentially send higher now this is where retail traders get stopped out and this is where us um, as smart money can get involved and bank up on other retail traders mistakes right so under these sell, sell side liquidity and buy side liquidity there's sell stops and buy stops so that's sort of the theory side of everything now essentially what you're going to be doing is just patiently waiting now what you can do is you can set alerts near your liquidity level so you don't actually have to actively be looking at the charts i find that better because then it cuts out any mistakes and any uh, boredom and rush that you start getting when you're just watching charts. So again, 
session starts, blah, 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 it's doing its thing. Then as soon as buy side or sell side gets taken, so if, if it's buy side getting taken, you're then going to be looking for sells, okay, because the sell stops above uh, buy side liquidity. If you are, if your sell side, sell side liquidity gets taken, you're looking for buys because there's buy stops under sell side liquidity. So for example here, uh, buy side liquidity gets taken, okay. Um, oh. So let me quickly just redo that just so it's nice and clear. Okay, buy side gets taken, okay, so done. Buy side is now taken now. As soon as buy side gets taken, you need to drop down into the one minute time frame, okay? So once we drop into the one minute time frame, as you have in our checklist here, so we have the 15 minute to delineate our um, liquidity areas. And then as soon as one of them gets swept, we now jump onto the one, one minute. And here is what you're gonna be looking for entries. So what you have to wait for, right, is now a market structure shift with displacement, okay? So for example, say that price is trading, blah, blah, blah. Price is trading, trading, trading. And then now we are seeking a market structure shift. So what I'm gonna be drawing here, this is gonna be the market structure shift. Oh, right, say this is the market structure shift. I'm gonna turn this to a red because it's very important. This is very important part of the step. Now this market structure shift has to break a low, of course. You guys should all know what market structure shift is. If you don't, head over to our channel. We've got lots and lots of videos on other videos, um, like market structure shifts, change of character, stuff like that. Um, so do check out the other videos. And then, so the market structure shift is very important. Why? Because it must be done with displacement. You can't have any wicks breaking these sort of lows, it has to be displacement. Now, what is displacement? This is displacement, big body candles, big energetic candles to the downside or the upside, depending on what you're seeking. This, however, however, would not be um, displacement, okay? So if you have a candle like this, taking it slow, that is not a displacement candle. So we're not gonna um, take account any candles like that, it has to be big, big energetic candles. Another thing is when a liquidity gets swept, no, the, it, the body does not have to close above the liquidity sweep. It can just be a wick as long as it takes it, okay? So, market structure shift with displacement. Remember, displacement, very key. Get that guy, get that um, down on your notes, guys, so make sure. Market structure shift with displacement. Now, next step, you're going to seek the order block that's been left within the displacement, right? There should be some form of order block before this huge move down. So whether that's up here or around here, wherever it may be, just mark that out, okay? Once you've got it marked out, all you are now seeking for is retracement into that order block in which you can then take to um, get in on an entry like so. Have your stops just above the highs and then um, target opposing liquidity. So it doesn't have to be the opposing sell side fully liquidity, even on the one minute time frame, you might have different areas of liquidity, you can target those, or if you do want to target uh, opposing liquidity, if it makes sense with market structure, then uh, go ahead. But nine times out of 10, you're gonna be sort of taking profit at the first liquidity level anyway, because there's no point being greedy, right? But that is the sort of setup on how you're actually gonna be trading this. Now let's take it over to the live chart. Before we do jump into the live example section, I do wanna mention we do have a free telegram where we draw uh, trade breakdowns uh, where our new videos are going to be coming out so do go ahead and join that now don't worry about this uh, course thing because we are dropping the prices um, it's not going to be $99 anymore we are dropping it to around $60 so it's much much more accessible for you guys we also have another channel for our trading bot uh, we do loads and loads of giveaways, like we just gave away £50. Um, we've got tons and tons of stuff through here, which you guys can join. The link will all be in the bio below. But let's jump straight back into it and get you guys um, taught on this amazing strategy that I actually use myself as well, that ICT actually teaches himself. Very straightforward and very easy. And I hope the explanation earlier did make things clearer for you. So first things first, you let a price do what it wants before London uh, open kill zone, right? Don't have to pick London Kill Zone. You can choose New York. You can choose wherever you guys want. You don't have, or you can change the two. So, first things first, okay? What do we have here before London opens? So, um, if I just go, that was a starting candle. Now we have this low created, right? This low created is going to be our liquidity, um, sell side liquidity sweep. First things first. So we're going to delineate that. Um, Sell side liquidity, done. So we're gonna label this as liquidity. Uh, buy side is gonna be this high here, okay? So done. 
mark DAOs as liquidity. Now we're basically just gonna wait for either one to be swept. Um, whether you you can wait in the 15 minute, you can watch from the one minute, it doesn't really matter. Me personally, I like to wait on the one minute just because I know that that's where I'm gonna be seeking entry when we do see sweep liquidity. So it's just easier for me to uh, watch it on the one minute. So that's that. Now, London session has begun, okay? As you can see here, London session has begun. What we're gonna wait for, done sell side liquidity swept now remember what i said we don't have to get a body close below if you do you do if not if it's a wick that counts as well now the important parts of this strategy is the market structure shift with displacement so that's that's essentially what you're going to be looking for so where is the high and the low for us to get a market structure shift here's the high okay so we have to essentially displace through this high before um even seeking sort of entry unless we get a new high made uh, which we potentially will so let's mark that out for now see if we get another high made okay perfect we've had another high made how do you know if it's a valid high It's when a candle has a high and the candle before it and let's see if the candle after is lower than the actual high that's how you know it's a valid high so we're going to mark out this high now since it's the most recent high um, and let's see if we get some sort of mark structure shift um, into that. Okay, so we've created a new low. Let's see if we can potentially create a new higher. Okay, first things first, let's go back. We have a new high created here. Why do we know it's a high? Uh, the candle before it and the candle after is a lower. So we're essentially going to move our area of interest to this low here. Now we want to see displacement through. Okay. This part is very key, guys. Very, very, very key. Why is this key? Remember what I said, you want to see big energetic candles through the high, okay? Here, yes, we have a big energetic candle, but is it sort of through the high? We sort of have a wickish close. I wouldn't really under uh, take that as a um, displacement candle because you really want to see an energetic candle really breaking that high. So being precise with trading is much much easier is more peace of mind i want all my boxes ticked off before i even seek an entry um, or you're just going to end up getting sloppy entries which don't make sense so essentially we're just waiting um obviously we've got a new high created though um here we're gonna draw that out and let's see if we can get a strong mark structure shift this is what I'm talking about you see how you see the difference between this candle and that w little wick that we did close above that high this is displacement. Perfect. Okay, so now we've had the displacement uh, with the mark structure shift since we broke above that high. We now need to seek our order block. Where is our order block? Order blocks is the last down close candle. Again, we do have a video on order blocks on our channel if you do want to check it out. So order block has been uh, marked out. Now you can either be waiting manually to watch um, to enter the trade or you can set a limit order just above the order block so spreads can factor you in. We're going to have um, stops set at a low. You can have it just below the low if you like. Personally, I like having it at the low. If it makes sense for this low to hold, then I'll have it at the low. If it doesn't, then I will have it slightly below. But um, to be safe, let's have it slightly below. We're oppo uh, targeting opposing liquidity. Again, um, this would be opposing liquidity here. So it'll be a nice one to two risk to ratio. That's if we get tapped in. Now we wait, we wait. Okay, bang, tapped in, okay? So we've now been tapped into the trade. Bang, within three one minute candles, within three minutes, you would have had uh, hit a one to um, two risk to reward ratio. But this is how simple the trading setup is. I hope this helped you guys um, again. Do join our free telegram if you guys want to get um, sort of free content um, when our next videos are going to be coming out um, and other um, helpful things like so. But um, yeah, do join that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was very straightforward. I'll have this sort of checklist in the description below as well as the links to our telegram. Um, but yeah, see you guys over there.